go have some fun. Reporting from Kalen Square, center of the West District, and once a landmark of the Dis City's industrial belt. Since NF33, it has borne witness to the establishment, development, and prosperity of the West District, and to its subsequent bankruptcy, decline, and decadence. In half an hour, it is going to witness yet another all-important negotiation. After a lapse of 13 years, the City Council is now ready to reopen talks in the West District. The Legion, the Syndicate's rising gang, is to participate in the negotiation as the representative of the West District. The venue for the occasion is the former Kalen Exhibition Hall at the center of the square. It will be a closed door negotiation. Burns, director of the city council and former chief of the Public Security Bureau, will attend in person. The whole community is waiting with bated breath for the outcome of the negotiation. What will the West District, or rather, the syndicate gangsters, demand? Will the West District order management regulations be undermined? What impact will this have on our city? Look at all those scared damsels from the east side. A gas mask would have gone well with that ensemble. Way too many cops, big vehicles, and all the helicopters in the air, like a huge swarm of flies. Does any of this look like they're here for a peaceful negotiation? Are you the ushers sent out by the authorities? Yo, boss! I came here alone. No one is spooked hearted here. Or you think they can beat me? Relax. I know what these guys are made of. I'm used to it. I'm curious. If there was a fight, which side would you take? Don't Your stir things up. Sure. This is where the gangs fight for supremacy. The rule is, the final winner gets to paint their gang logo on the topmost point of the statue as a symbol of supremacy. This is how Syndicate operates. Power seized through brute force will only be taken away by greater brute force, from fists to bullets, then to mania weapons. What do you think will run this place next? It'll be me. <laughs> there will be no more gang fights. The old order ends today, and I'm the one putting an end to it.
Chief, a task has come up for you. We've learned through our investigation that a large number of people carrying mania weapons are approaching the square. We do not yet know their intent, but we're sure they're not coming in good faith. The FAC has been entrusted by the city council with security of the square and preventing any mania event. Please track down these potential attackers, Chief. You've proved your competence and good judgment in your last task. No one else is capable of this task but you. What the f The negotiation is happening because of Chief, and now you guys are kicking us out right before it starts? Do we look like idiots to you? Come, I'll shove this task up your f I'm totally okay with it. Or rather, let's just say, I'm happy to see that you are not on their side. We look forward to hearing good news from you then. But please, don't overstretch yourself. Your MBCC is not the highest level of ministry after all. Well, cut the crap now. The negotiation is about to start, right? Get a move on then. Loosen up. Instead of wasting your time here, why don't you go around the area and seek out your old friends in Syndicate for a drink? Your adventure in Syndicate is coming to an end. They must have a lot to say to you. Whatever I want to say has already been said. Just don't forget the conversation we had the other night. Today, I'm gonna put an end to this mess. around. If something bad happens, I can't save you. All this long wait, and no sign of any gangsters or mania weapons. Those liars. They're definitely up to something. Be patient. We've been on guard for only half an hour. The enemies might be biding their time. being followed. They're still spying on us from a distance. Probably some other sheriffs.
copy that. <laughs> yes, that's right. Hearing you say it out loud makes me feel all queasy, though. Sounds exciting! I'll take care of it. Chief, it's me. I noticed that you've left your station and acted on your own. May I ask what happened? I've been listening in on the Public Security Bureau's intercom, but I was only able to get the peripheral channel. Chief... This negotiation is not as simple as it seems. The situation may be worse than we expected. I'll be there as soon as possible. Before then, don't take any action on your own. No, I only have a limited amount of information so far. The Public Security Bureau suggested I take you back, but they didn't include the MBCC in this mission. I'm not clear about the details of their cooperation, but I know that functionally the FAC answers to the City Council, and is duty-bound to ensure the safety of the delegation from the East Side. I think they are aware of the seriousness of the situation. Where things stand, it's only understandable that you don't trust the FAC, or even me. But as your adjutant, I still have one request to make. If you're ever in danger, do let me know. Whether you trust us or not, the MBCC can't afford to lose you. Hey, I found the strange guys you asked about over there. See those dumbhead cops there? Since just now, they've been keeping their guns up absentmindedly and checking their watches all the time. Something's definitely off. They're guarding that godforsaken corner, and yet they look tenser than all the other patrollers. Judging from my years' experience of spying on the cops, I dare say they're up to no good. Well, who's there? FAC? Aren't you supposed to stay in the square? And what are these two rascals doing there? Well, get out. You got no business here. Are you deaf or something? Get your ass out of here. This isn't where you're supposed to be. Get out of the way. Chief, nine o'clock. There's an ambush. A small group of gangsters. None of your business! Butt out! Copy that. Damn it! Uh, quick! Blow them down! Don't let any of them escape! Oh. Try to keep up. I'll just put it out there. I won't save anyone who doesn't follow medical advice. Okay, I'll be the guy. I'm here. I have to go. I don't like to... Too close. This is 
my resolution. Hide beside it! Like you come here to mess with us. Spill it out. Uh, uh, this is not how we planned it. It's not time yet. Not yet. Wait a second. Which gang are you with? Who's giving you orders? It's the Legion! The Legion is attacking the square! They're trying to sabotage the negotiation! No. What's next? Don't let me find your legal loophole. me who ordered you here the the, Le the legion it's the legion they asked us to charge into the square at 8 30 and make a scene to distract the sheriffs then zoya could kidnap the attendees of the negotiation what the f this is solid evidence just in from the command post Zoya broke off the negotiations with violence at 0830 and attempted to attack Mr. Burns. Alert everyone! The Legion is starting a coup! Put it down immediately! How dare you! Are you defying the order from the Public Security Bureau? Oh, this has nothing to do with the FAC. You've been assigned here by the city council. Keep to your assigned task. What do you want? I, I, I don't know anything. Okay, we'll wait for you here. What's going on here? I'm confused. Why are we here? How much longer do we have to wait? Since when did you become friends with Earl? Chief, we've got company. They've been following us. A trap? We've been tricked?
I'll just put it out there. I won't save anyone who doesn't follow medical advice. Okay, I'll be the guide. the Legion would be gone forever today! And the old order would return to Syndicate! <laughs> Everyone! Everyone in Syndicate wants them dead! For almost two decades, Syndicate has been held together by the rules, trade, transactions, and turf conflicts! That's the order of Syndicate. The Legion has disrupted our order. That's why we all... Mm. We all? Speak for yourself. Now answer me. Who ordered you here? Who took the lead? Your gangs or the Public Security Bureau? Stop it! I don't know anything! I just... Ambush. You should have followed our orders, sir. Mr. Burns fully understands your position. He doesn't need a sinner lover to remain here. Mm. Mr. Burns has said this is the punishment for your failure to do your duty. You failed to apprehend the targets you were asked to. And you failed to put the dangerous sinners under control. Your failure to play your role has put the Public Security Bureau in a tight spot. Enough said. Now shut up. Shut up for good. No one gets to harm the Chief. Or should I say, none of you useless scum gets to harm the Chief. Come on, I'll send you to meet your maker. Don't get yourself involved, Chief, or you'll get yourself in trouble in some internal blame game. You should learn to let the gangsters do the dirty work. Instead of wasting your time here, why don't you go around the area and seek out your old friends in Syndicate for a drink? They must have a lot to say to you. Next up. 
The Legion's gonna follow their unreliable boss and rise in rebellion. What are you gonna do, Chief? Eliminate us for the authorities, or join us in turning this place upside down. Thank you, everyone, for your hard work. To give you a spoiler, I'm going to run away in a bit. Better catch up to me. All this fuss, and we're back to square one. Are you lot are a buzzkill. Your ride is over! Zoya, raise your hands! Raise your hands and surrender yourself! Do you hear me? Shoot me already or shut up! Don't give me this threatening crap. You haven't set foot in Syndicate for years. Why have you chosen to come back here today of all days? Right when the Legion is about to eradicate all other gangs and take over Syndicate. Because you'll lose your source of income once the gangs are eradicated? Or because the Legion has come upon some secret that will choke off your career? Let's return to the negotiation table, Burns. Director of the City Council, former chief of the local security precinct. This isn't a threat. There hasn't been a negotiation. This is an order. Turn over the inheritance and the sinner! Or you and your legion will perish today! Your deaths will restore the authority of the West District Order Management Regulations and serve as a reminder to all syndicates of what awaits those who rebel. Well, well. You're like a mad dog that has got its tail stepped on and can do nothing but bark. If you're so concerned about getting caught, you shouldn't have hooked up with those mania peddlers and allowed them to ruin Syndicate. What did that sinner tell you? The subordinate of mine learned the whereabouts of the inheritance while she was half conscious in captivity. She was held in the MBCC then in the Public Security Bureau of the West District. Drugging imprisoned sinners is right up the alley of those timid sheriffs. The question is, why did that particular piece of information appear in the cell? Well, the Legion had searched for it for so long, interrogated so many gangsters, and trashed so many black markets to no avail. Are you implying the Public Security Bureau is proliferating mania weapons? Don't play dumb with me. Give me the arms dealer you've been protecting. Shut it, you thug! You don't have a clue of what I'm trying to achieve here. You rotten rats! You scorn education! You have no vision! You refuse to see the bigger picture! All you do is fight each other in the mire of violence! And then rot and descend along with this stinky neighborhood! I am the man who will stand on the top of the city! Who will lead it to true glory! Don't make me laugh. You're a Syndicate, too. Thirteen years ago, you signed the West District Order Management Regulations, 
By betraying Syndicate to make a fortune and cultivate connections, you got yourself out of Syndicate and into the Public Security Bureau, and eventually got to where you are today. You're flaunting your new identity, and at the same time, you're eager to cut yourself off from your past. Looks like you want to be a pure dignitary. Shut it! See? You despise the violence of Syndicate, but when you come face to face with it, all you do is bluster from a safe distance. If it weren't for these filthy weapons, you wouldn't even dare breathe loudly in front of me. You can't wipe the slate clean, Burns. No matter how degenerate the Syndicates might become, you will be the most hideous of them all. To be honest, I did hold a glimmer of hope that there would be more of those simple-minded straight shooters, so that the stinky script wouldn't be followed again. Sure enough, there can only be one possible ending for this city in the hands of people like you. I hear people who have nothing to do with this or don't follow orders aren't allowed in. So it means these are all your people. Great. Then I won't feel bad for killing any of you. Time for a little exercise. Legion. did it anyway? I've told them this is my business only. Those guys, they're holding me back. I should make quick work of this, or they'll be down before I come to their aid. Now tell me about this friend of yours, Mr. Burns. You messed with the wrong person. I've already seen through you. Save your futile struggle and surrender. Adjutant, the Legion speaking. Tell everyone, including the Public Security Bureau, that your chief has been kidnapped again. If you don't want him to come to any harm, stop calling and butt out. Are you happy with this? Provided that your adjutant is buying this little trick. Adjutant Nightingale is going to worry sec.
Conference Hall is under attack. I repeat, Conference Hall is under attack. Security unit S-Class alert initiated. Defend against the residual forces of the Legion. Defend the square at all costs. Repeat, defend the square at all costs. They've let several teams of gangsters get into their defense network through sewers 6 and 18. Looks like the Bureau is going to intercept us with a security unit and let the gangsters with mania weapons attack Zoya. Uh, screw it! Boss has started the fire anyway, and it's time for us to make it burn brighter! Charge at those mo- Quick. And now you're using me instead. That way, she wouldn't have risked going deep into the lion's den by herself, betting on something that doesn't even exist. She did that all because of you. Advisor and loving brother. Hey, don't look at me like that. Be nicer to girls. We're wasting time here. Time for action. Now, the main forces of the Legion are going to feign an attack from the front to stall the Public Security Bureau. And I'm going to go down to the sewer system through a secret passage in Street 13. Then I'll go deep into the square to find the commander. Well, I'm starting to think things went smoothly in this secret passage. Looks like I was getting ahead of myself. It's the FAC! Unlike the sheriffs, the FAC focuses on defense. They don't have much of an appetite for offense. no desire to attack, they'll definitely not let us pass. There's only one way. Get ready to attack. Hold on. Chief is in an awkward position here. Chief can't just jump ship. We need a strategy, so... We should do this strategy thing. Strategy. That's it. Strategy. Come on, come on! Everybody! The Legion's attacking. Prepare to confront them. Uh, wait a second. They're taking someone hostage. Is that the new MBCC chief? Yeah. The sinners turned their chief over to me as a gift for allowing them to join the Legion. No choice. We have to save the MBCC chief. Oh. Turn. Okay, I'll be the guy. I'll just put it out there. I won't save anyone who doesn't. I'm here. I have to go.
Order. This is an order. Get out of the way. Just as I expected, these monsters cannot be trusted. Shouldn't have included them in the combat troops in the first place. What do we do now? They have the chief. Our hands are tied. Should we let them pass? No. If we do let them pass, the chief will be in real danger. The other soldiers are no longer confused. Careful. That man has boosted the morale of the troops with just a few words. He's no ordinary soldier. I'll take him in. We'll get him back here and now. Thank you, everyone, for your hard work. These are not ordinary bullets. Don't worry. It's a short-lasting anti-mania mechanism, used specifically against corruptors. We can handle it. It's a feint. Look! down. <sighs> Too close to use more powerful bombs. That guy's really... Be careful. He's no ordinary man. Get him back! Now! Too close. 
Experience, commanding of troops, willpower. This is a formidable enemy. Can't let this drag on any longer. Get out of here, you guys! Ugh! Get our guys back, and you, get out of here! Be quick! That man knows it now, or he would never have let us go, given how much he wanted to save you. He's protecting you. He knew you had betrayed them, but he did nothing about it. Do you two know each other? The other soldiers are not coming after us either. The FAC doesn't seem so keen on staying too far away from their stronghold. Looks like the FAC has some other task on them. everyone for your hard work. I will give everyone the motivation to keep going. I'm telling the truth. I don't know any arms dealers. Those mania weapons came to us from various channels. I really don't know who they were! Oh, right. Well, uh, we'll round up the Legion after killing you. Uh, the Director's order is for us to take back the inheritance and kill the Legion Center who escaped from the MBCC. Uh, the Director tried to tweak some information to manipulate that new MBCC chief into taking care of the whole thing, but the new chief wasn't much of an order follower. I know there's someone behind the Mania weapons. I also know the Public Security Bureau has a connection with them. Your subordinate has given us quite a lot of information. 
and there will be no reinforcements for you for the time being. Stop beating around the bush, Burns. My patience is running thin. Well, at this point, I guess it won't hurt to tell you the truth. Over a decade ago, the gangs here were out of control. Many gangsters attempted to cross the Rust to attack the east side. I was the chief of the local security precinct back then. An order from the Public Security Bureau arrived at my desk, which instructed me to purge this place at all costs. The order came with a man who called himself an arms dealer. He said he could make my troubles go away. The arms dealer controlled the supply of weapons to the various gangs. He could help me build a balance of power among the gangs, and he would be able to keep the syndicates in the West District so that they wouldn't cause troubles in the East Side. He made good on his promises. More importantly, he wants nothing but money. He won't try to build up his power base and take over a syndicate. He's also promised to always stay behind the scene and get involved only when I need him to. The problems of the West District can finally be solved. Finally. His solution was to string the gangsters along with the promise of making them the overlords of Syndicate, then incite violence to drive up the price of arms. You, on the other hand, can control Syndicate at a low cost with the help of the arms dealer. You don't care about the lives of ordinary people anyway. Well, it's you and the arms dealer who are the real masters of Syndicate, not those short-lived overlords. Is the spreading of mania weapons part of your plan, too? I'll handle it. I'll be able to. Who are these people? Where are they? What do they want? <laughs> oh, I can tell you all that, but what would you do when you find them? Zoya, for all this time, you've been chasing new enemies. First the gangs, then the mania peddlers. What next? The Public Security Bureau? The East Side? The entire city? You really think your syndicate will be all the better if you eradicate them all? Hell no. All you do is wreak destruction. You can't bring any real change. Don't give me that crap. Answer my questions. Go on! You're not the savior of the syndicate! <laughs> your power is the only source of your confidence! And you have nothing but that violent power of yours! <laughs> You can't defeat him! The stronger you get, the more you are doomed to failure! Sit on you! Count Luffy! Yourself! You're the man behind him. Yes. Syndicate has a new master. I've come to present a congratulations gift. I won't let you get your way! Oh, that's the spirit. Treat me as an enemy. Oh, is this the inheritance? 
Britain. Exactly. And there's more than one of them. Syndicate deserves more. You deserve more. Fight, Zoya. Fight with your true form. It's always been you that they desire. feeling. Less than 20 minutes as far as our senses are concerned. But time here has been distorted too. needs rest. When you were knocked out cold by the contamination, Hella was somewhat affected because she's connected with you through the shackles. I'm fine. I can handle this level of impact. Now that you've come around, Chief, the shackles are functioning normally again. And the contamination is being suppressed. Hella will be all right. As for Earl, he wasn't affected, but he's worried about Zoya. So he didn't wait for you to wake up and left on his own. Don't want to go deeper into the square? That's a maximum security area. 
If it ever becomes the center of a contamination outbreak, the density of corruptors there will be far beyond any crisis we've witnessed. This contamination event is having a distinct effect on you too, Chief. What if... I'll go get Hela. A lot of battles await us. to Invincible Me. I will give everyone the motivation to keep going. Now we're not fighting the authorities. We don't have to explain our stance to corruptors. Makes things easier for Chief. Quite the opposite. This is worse. I'd rather take on humans, however obnoxious they might be, and fight them with my water pipe, instead of just waking up one day and finding out that everyone has become a monster all of a sudden. Hold on. That underboss of the Legion doesn't have any means of resisting contamination either. Could he have been... That would mean trouble. Earl is a sinner. If he goes manic and becomes deteriorated, he will be a more troublesome enemy, based on what we've seen in Salva. I don't want to fight any more Legion members, and definitely not Horo's brother. FAC machines over there? These are the FAC's base stations for contamination shielding. I hear they can excite hypercubes to produce a force field 
to protect the city, but the effect is limited. This one seems out of order. We have to make a detour. Wait, they're mauling something. Look at the clothes. A Legion member? Protect Commander Earl. Go quick. Let's put him out of his misery. Hakate, you do it. You're quicker. Only the supporting machinery can be turned on. There is no response from the main machinery of the base stations. These are not enough to drive all the enemies away. And the commotion is going to draw more corruptors to us. Oh, they are coming. No, it's the bro who helped me out once. I still owe him a couple bucks. He is a corruptor now, Hella. Don't back away. We have to fight. I know, but I... This is too much. This feeling... It's odd.
can still fight. I can't let you. FAC Special Operations Forces against Black Rings. Captain of Team N7, service number 036, hereby report to you. We're not your enemy. Chief, our team will assist in protecting you. Adjutant Nightingale, take Chief away. You've got me here. to Invincible Me. I'll explain the details to you later. We have to deal with this crisis at hand first. My team will take care of the enemies coming from the front and start the main base station. They might attack us from behind. I hope you can intercept them. You can make use of all the supporting machinery here. And? It's a mania shield for individual use. The force field created by the hypercubes inside can temporarily alleviate the mental strain the shackles put on you and at least allow your sinners to get back in fighting shape. Captain, the enemies are coming. The nearest ones are 20 meters away. C formation, covering fire in seven seconds. Remember, no matter what happens, don't be swayed by your enemies, don't worry about us, and don't get distracted. It's our responsibility to protect you. And your only job is to protect yourself. Keep up with me, you guys.
The high concentration of contamination has bent space-time and entirely cut off communications. But this area is free of corruptors for the time being. Me too. After the riot, I was transferred back to the DIS-C surveillance zone. Only yesterday I heard that you, the new chief of the NBCC, were doing an excellent job, and that headquarters intended to recruit you to help out in the district of DIS-C. I knew I would meet you sooner or later, but I didn't expect so soon. Not so long ago, I thought you had been kidnapped by the Legion, and your sinners had all defected. Guess I was wrong. Don't worry, I'm not questioning your stance. Your adjutant has since explained the situation to me. I believe in you, Chief. You must have your reasons for doing so. But we're in a dire situation. If you were forced to take that action for some special reasons, or you've come across some special intel, please share it with me. Don't keep me in the dark. We came here only because we had received confidential information. An S-Class or above Mania crisis might break out in Keelan Square. And as you and I have seen, this warning is becoming a reality. What we've seen might only be the beginning. I have to know more. We have to take action. So, that Earl guy from the Legion said the inheritance had been moved, but you can sense it's in the square now, and it suddenly appeared in the conference hall before the outbreak of contamination? Is it possible that they tricked you? Maybe Zoya did bring the inheritance into the conference hall and released it when the negotiation broke down, as a means of retaliation. As you said, she possesses a technique that allows her to seal the inheritance completely. That's what you sense through the shackles? What's wrong? Why'd you get so serious all of a sudden? Captain, what are your orders? We're forever ready. We'll fight alongside you until the very end. No matter what. I see. The information you just gave is very important. For that glimmer of hope, we shall continue our fight. I do. Predicaments faced by the FAC are always beyond easy comprehension, so your contribution is of vital importance. Thank you for letting us know how dire the situation is, and for giving us the silver lining. And now, for the silver lining, we shall fight to the last man. Team N7, assemble! Yes, sir! Head for the conference hall immediately and storm the center of contamination. Be prepared to die for the mission. If there's only one man reaching the destination, give him all the firepower. This is our final mission. Kill Sinner Zoya before the Black Ring breaks out, at all costs. 
No. What's next? Risk of a Black Ring outbreak confirmed. Risk level upgraded to S+. Ground Zero presumed to be Sinner Zoya. Troops for deployment in the risk area are Team FAC BRN7 and MBCC's Sinner Squad. Go to the conference hall now. Kill Sinner Zoya before the concentration of contamination reaches the threshold level. Yes, sir! Chief, a disaster is imminent. This is the only possible course of action. I agree with you in that regard. This crisis is far more serious than the FAC expected. 80% of the anti-black ring system has been damaged which is proof enough that the inheritance is much more powerful than we thought. But when you come down to it, the inheritance is just a catalyst. All this can be traced back to Zoya's mental contamination. We have to eliminate the source to dissolve this crisis. I understand how you feel, and I'm really sorry, but this is the only way out. motor mouth with me. Stop wasting our time. What do you think you're doing? Get your hands off the chief! Take your filthy paws off me! The Dis City got to where it is today because of you. You thugs! Monsters! Get lost! Tragedies, huh? <laughs> if you had the slightest idea what real tragedies look like, what we are fighting you wouldn't think to defend the sinners. Stop it, 702. The depletion of your hypercubes is speeding up. Don't lose control of your emotions. You don't want to get infected with mania here, right? Start mind suppression immediately. <coughs> uh, sorry, Captain. I'll keep my emotions under control. Sorry. We didn't mean to antagonize you. We don't hate sinners. Our only enemy is the imminent catastrophe. For the purposes of our upcoming task, I hereby, in accordance with Supplemental Clause 74 of the Code of Confidentiality, divulge to you part of the FAC's confidential information and assume accountability thus incurred. Everything you see now, from the corruption incidents caused by the contamination to this unsettling turn of events, is just a prelude. The Black Ring, keep the name in mind, it's the ultimate form of a mania crisis. It's an area that causes widespread, severe mental contamination. It appears when a mania crisis goes beyond its limits, it's a no-go zone of mania that cannot be eliminated. Information about what's going on inside the Black Ring is extremely rare, since few can get out alive. We've only recorded the damage caused by the Black Ring. BR-000 appeared in NF-84 in the wake of the Dis-C explosion. The number of direct deaths was 87,231, 
and up until the appearance of BR-001, more than 200,000 maniacs had come into being. BR-001 appeared in NF-89. More than 30,000 people went missing, with an annual addition of at least 200 people. Three years later, the contamination spilling out of BR-001 formed the isolation belt in the rust, which we still are unable to clean up. Access to data on BR-002 and BR-003 is blocked. BR-004 is coming. Because the FAC has to do its utmost to stop any Black Ring-related information from getting out in order to prevent secondary disasters, that is, the unpredictable, far-reaching spread of mania. Every time a Black Ring appears, the number of mental cases in the city skyrockets. You don't have to be in contact with contamination to get mentally ill. You might get mentally ill simply by observing a black ring, discussing it, or even imagining it. We can't manage the influence of a black ring when it's out in the open. But we humans have no way of eliminating a black ring once it has appeared. All we can do is to contain its expansion and lessen its effect by blocking the contamination, active camouflage, and information control. This is why information on the Black Ring is strictly confidential. The Black Ring is the source of mania, and simply knowing this piece of information might be enough to bring destruction on ourselves. Misunderstanding caused by information blocking does contribute to sinners being blamed for causing mania. But there's a close link between the appearance of a Black Ring and the behavior of a sinner. With the exception of BR-000, whose point of origin hasn't yet been determined, we detected a powerful sinner going manic at the same time when each of the other black rings appear. Such a sinner is called a black ring ground zero. The M value of sinner Zoya is already out of range. Once she is corrupted, a black ring will descend on Keelan Square immediately. Then, no one inside the ring will survive, and those outside the ring are not going to emerge unscathed. The framework against catastrophe is not trying to sit in judgment on sinners or improve public morals. We have only one job, and that is to do everything we can to fight mania, to prevent the ultimate catastrophe that we humans wouldn't be able to survive. Killing Zoya is the only course of action that can stop this catastrophe. That's what we'll do. And without you, we don't stand a chance of defeating her. I'm very sorry. Enemies, get down! <coughs> oh. Captain! Uh, ten o'clock. Uh, quick. Do I have to go? Oh. Try to keep up with me, you guys. Okay, I'll be the guide. Oh, try to keep up with me, you guys. Too 
A safety beacon can be placed here, too. Be nice. Give me your hand. Don't let those incompetent appraisers make your hand dirty. It's the FAC team. Looks like they came here after the contamination outbreak, and died here eventually. Poor things. How did they end up like this? Didn't they each have a contamination shield? The contamination shield only provides limited protection. It resists contamination by depleting hypercubes, and hypercubes are hard to come by. Stop! <coughs> the Black Ring... must... stop it! We will. This is a valuable resource. Yes, mind suppression is fundamental to the FAC's fighting. To resist mania, you must have an extremely rational mind. Losing control of your emotions only brings contamination. This can help the MBCC too. It can be trained. It can help you become accustomed to responding to emergencies. Yes, deaths are part of the game. If you can't accept this, you don't deserve to fight for the FAC. Yes, I'm a member of an FAC combat unit. To fight Black Rings, I can discard all emotions. Just now you asked me whether I would force your hand if you refused to get involved in the battle. If forcing your hand means my success in killing Zoya, then I will. But the problem is, the Shackle's power comes from your will. So if you have no desire to fight yourself, there's no point in forcing you to. We protected you because of that glimmer of hope that you might identify with our fight and join us in our endeavor. This is all too sudden, too much for you to handle. And again, one can only hope. Even if you choose not to join us, we're still moving on with our mission. This is our duty. We must continue, even if it's a losing battle we're fighting. The Dis City is spurned for its many sins, but it's our only home nevertheless. Our city was never built on peace. The world was plagued by mania calamities back then. Without hypercubes, humans had no choice but to hole up in refuges, not knowing what tomorrow would bring. The Dis City's prosperity was built by our many ancestors, with their wisdom, determination, and even lives.
Now, only we can protect this city. It rose amid a hellish landscape, and we will not let it fall without a fight. The FAC is giving all it's got to fight Mania and safeguard the Dis City. So what's your choice? Then, at least we can keep each other company for now. I'll do whatever it takes to keep you safe. That's for the sake of that glimmer of hope I cling on to. I hope you'll eventually make up your mind and decide to help us prevent the Black Ring. Job is done. Shall we sort out the now? Whose pain will I uncover here? I've never had a fight here. And this is over. I'm gonna, as per usual, do a bit of graffiti as a memento. Chief, you okay? Dead. Someone killed them. Black Ring hasn't formed yet. There's still time. We must stop it before this tragedy is repeated. If 
that's the case, it'll be great. No. We're the only ones who've made it here after the outbreak. Should we wait for him? We don't have time. Job is done. Shall we sort out the pay? Now, whose pain will I uncover here? Chief! Chief, are you all right? Hey, can you hear me? Come on. This is killing me. The shackles are putting too much strain on the chief. What should we do? Stay away. You're connected to him through the shackles. You'd be affected. Let me take care of this. Wake up. Listen to me. It's just you and me here. Focus your mind, then suppress it. You're strong. You won't be defeated. The monsters from just now were the products of Zoya going manic. Her mental contamination. Anger, resentment, hatred, and a reckless desire to wreak destruction. She is extremely dangerous now. <sighs> I understand. If you see something that I can't, if what you see is hope, then go and fight with all your might. I'll be protecting you. Me. 
got lost! It's you. It's you. You're getting in my way! Chief. She is mine! Touch me. I am... I'm not. You don't stand a chance. I won't lose. I won't lose!
Thank you, everyone, for your hard work. Time for a vacation? still here. What a magnificent view. It makes my labors all worthwhile. A long-lost miracle will soon happen. How are you feeling now? Happy? <laughs> my apologies for keeping you waiting. Things change. We must adjust our plan in time. Will you forgive me? After all, this multi-year project is done, and I've overachieved. Does the noise bother you? We've got a couple of little intruders who are trying to put together an opening act for us. They call this thing shackles, right? They've probably modified the technology they had stolen back then, and used it to tie up a few lambs. That has brought a little accident to our plan. Then again, thanks to them, we found such good seeds. Syndicate has nurtured the best seeds. So powerful, so pure, so passionate and fearless. The ones who dare to oppose the gods, and are thus favored by them. It doesn't matter if they've already been marked by others. We just have to snatch them. Alas, the pitiful and lovable ones, continue with your hopeless struggle. Such admirable willpower will make an excellent decoration for the ring. Chief, are you all right?
is still alive. Chief, you did it. Get some rest. You've just overused your shackle of power during the fight. Your body is almost out of strength. Get some rest. I'll bring back Zoya with you. Oh, Chief, where are you going? Killing Zoya is the only course of action that can stop this catastrophe. Stand it! Don't!
chief. You are more stubborn than I imagined. Your shackles have already failed. Stop trying to get yourself killed for nothing. It's not yet time for you to act. I'll leave Commander to you. What a sight. You're so badly injured by that one there. In this condition, you can't descend anymore even if you completely suck the lifeblood of the commander, can you? Give it to me! Give it to me! Leave her alone. I'll help you. Take my bones and blood. My soul, my everything, come to me! You're not worthy enough! You're not! You! Ah, it's her! It's her! <laughs> Give it to me! Give it to me! Stop! Stay away from her! Cinder shouldn't get close, or the Black Ring will destroy everything here! <laughs> so what? This place is not worth her life. Come on, dear city. Reckoning time has come. Embrace the Black Ring. This is what you get from the vile seed you've planted in Syndicate. You deserve it. The job is done. We should go before the troublesome spiders crawl here. Great! Now a safety beacon can be placed here too! <laughs> <laughs> 